Hello Windows Insiders, I'm back with the latest build right over here. Windows just announced their Insider Preview Builds 22610 and honestly this time I have to say I'm really impressed by the changes. So here in my system about section here you can see the build number is 22610. After getting my hands onto this build, I realize clearly there are some improvements that should be done but I face some problems in these builds as well. So without a further ado, let's explore the build 22610. So the first thing I would like to say is that the watermark from right over here, the insider build watermark is gone and they have specified that it may come afterwards in the future but as of right now it's gone so it looks really clean. Then the icon right over here, you can see the temperature and hovering over it, it's completely blew my mind. This time the widgets looks really smooth and they are really fluent to use. So let me just show you this one more time. As you can see, the opening up is really smooth. And I would say overall usability is now much improved. So without a further ado, let's head over to the main features of this build. So first thing, they have introduced a family safety widget into the widget section over here. Here you can take a look at the location of your family members and you need to set up the location sharing first and that's the thing but once you set it up it everything will be ready to go. Now next one if you take a look at turn windows feature on or off here if you search for SMB section right over here you can see it is unchecked by default it is not turned on by default. So that's the change that they have made because SMB 1.0 is little bit old nowadays and there are alternatives and there are alternatives such as SMB 3.0 with direct access to your things. So yeah, that's a really neat feature. So you'd say they kind of a disabled SMB 1 by default, but you can still able to use it by simply checking it into the turn on or off windows features. Talking about the next one, well, I'm using my PC and I don't have a battery icon on it. So it shows an estimated battery life of remaining time over here in the tooltip. So watermark from here is totally gone. It may return in the future build. So yeah, that's the thing. But right now it's looking so much clean. Talking about the next one, they have also disabled the tablet optimized taskbar feature. Here you can see going into the taskbar settings, there is no option to tablet optimize taskbar. I don't see anything. So looks like they have ditched this feature. Next one talking about the context menu, if you right click onto your desktop, you can see it's looking much cleaner now. Honestly, it feels like it came from another dimension. It looks so amazing and I was just amazed to see that the context menu blends with the wallpaper itself. Context menu feels like it's uh, printed onto a diffuse glass pane. And what do you think about it? Do let me know in the comments down below. Also, there is option for next desktop background. Really neat and handy feature. They have also minimized the look of this context menu and now it feels much cleaner. All the most useful options are available over here as well as there is option to open in terminal. And this is a plus point. If you go into the show more options, there are old menus which are still available. So now if you click right over here, you can clearly see the menu looks like it is floating onto the explorer. And clearly you can see for your basic operation, you got your copy, paste, cut icons right over here. Also, I can see some new options like there is option to rename. Also, there is option to share. Designers of Windows 11 truly analyze that how users interact with their OS and that's why they introduce such a handy features into the context menu. Let's say if you right click onto any folder, well, possibilities are you will cut, copy, paste or probably you will rename the folder or share it. Talking about next one, if you head over to the your phone section onto your Windows 11, there you can see, if you have your phone linked with your Windows PC, you can clearly able to see this device into Bluetooth and devices into your phone link settings. Additionally, there is an option to show suggestion for using Android phone with Windows. And you can link your phone right from here. All the process is right there. It will guide you through sign in with your Microsoft account and, and through each and individual step. Also, the Windows file explorer crashes from previous builds are now gone. And you can clearly see all the things are working in a proper way. It's not like one of those cheap Windows builds. Here you can access your Linux build from the file explorer directly. And there you see all of your WSA files are now clearly visible from here. I'm pretty sure they give you the access of WSA files similar to this Linux one right over here. And talking about the next one, here are some fixes. 
Shift clicking onto this icon will open up an unexpected context menu before. But now you can see they have fixed this issue now and, and here you can see all animations of the drag and drop is there. Although the drag and drop is still not working at this point of time, you can check out my video on how to fix that. Drag and drop is not working but at least you can able to copy the files now. I highly recommend if you want a drag and drop features back, well do check out my video I have showed you how you can fix that one on your Windows 11. Here you can see in this build, the animations while you drag and drop anything are really cool and they are really optimized. Previously the Wi-Fi connections with TKIP and WEP security connections are dropped previously so all the people having the same problem have to roll back but in this build this option is enabled but without warning in the group policy they divided some policies for administrator here in the user configuration administrative template start menu they have added some policies again this is mainly for the professionals who manages their PCs and most important thing is now you can see the task manager looks really optimized compared to the previous task manager you can see the layout color theme also the arrangements of the elements everything is changed truly I like this design of the task manager and the use of colors is really subtle the here you can see the applications which use heavy amount of resources are dark in color and those are light ones use very few resources and over here in the task manager you can assign the efficiency mode for any particular process just need to select the application and select on this efficiency mode also you can group the applications from here you can end the task and run a new task from here also you can see the performance charts are looking really nice in the dark mode it's kind of a colorful ui used in the heat map are now based on your particular ascent that you have selected here you can take a look at my CPU, disk usage, also the Ethernet and two of my connected GPUs as well. Over here you can see both of my GPUs are showing the previews of their utilization and all the previews are clearly working at this point of time. And here let's check out the app history. You can clearly see that the CPU time is visible over here and which process is taking how much amount of time. You can clearly see that another great thing is you can manage your startup apps so this is the most interesting thing you know as pc boots up it gets lot of startup app load with this function now you can able to manage what startup apps you should boot up and you can just disable the useless applications right from here if your pc has a low resources like ram and cpu you can truly utilize this feature for your advantages then here you got the user accounts you can see the details of each process service and there is a setting to it. The UI is kind of a, like a flutter UI and you can set the default page and set the real time update speed and you can also send the high speed or low speed. It's really amazing. Next one for the task manager you got window management. Whether you want always on top minimize or hide the application. I mean truly this build has a lot of fixes right over here. Microsoft is truly working hard in order to polish the Windows 11 also fixing all the little details that users giving their feedback. After using this build for some time I feel like it's really smooth, it is fluent, snappy enough to use all the functionalities without any major problems. After using this build my vision is truly changed. Looks like we are stepping into the stable territory for Windows 11. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Really looking forward to use this build and this week let you know all this feature and everything. Guys we are really close to 100k subscribers so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like, share this video and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.